Which one gives you a more precise geometry, lofted boss or boundary boss? And how to work with boundary boss and why its icon is in a different color. In most cases, you might not even see the difference between boundary boss and lofted boss. But boundary boss is a lot more precise and gives you a lot more control over your profile and guidelines by giving you two directions instead of one to control your geometry. In this example, the green surface is done by boundary boss and the other one by loft. If I I zoom in you hardly see the difference but look here we have a little bit of a bump or better seen from this angle for the loft in this case and a higher bump for the boundary boss not that it was intentional i'm just pointing out the difference and you can if i turn on the zebra stripes you can see that the right one is a slightly different has a different pattern on it and this is the boundary boss and this is the lofted boss but over here we have three examples and they all share the exact same two profiles and two guidelines. The first one, the yellow one, look at this. Can you tell if it's done by boundary boss or lofted boss? It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. But let's just focus over here. On the red surface, we have some reflection that is cutting into the other one. Do you see that? There are some kind of warping effect over here. On the yellow one, we don't have that. The yellow one is done a lot cleaner and has a smoother surface. If I click on lofted boss, you see that the warped one was done using lofted boss using two profiles which is this line over here and the second line on the other end and two guide curves that's what we get but this one is done using boundary boss even though it's surface look at that we have two directions direction one and direction two for direction one again we are using the same two profiles and instead of guide curves instead of using these two lines as guide curves we are working with two different directions if i'm going to delete this and start over it would be something like this so direction one we have to right click activate the selection manager because i have created all of these lines using one sketch and the second one over here this is direction one it's not interfering with this guide curves or direction two but direction two allows us to have it from this side all the way to that side and it's not just like a normal guide curve that loft uses like that so if you want to see how to do that in a more obvious way, bear with me one minute. Before I get to that, I want to state the biggest difference that these two have, and this is this one. As you can see, it's also using the exact same profile like the other two, and it is also done using Boundary Boss. So Boundary Boss, unlike Loft, allows you to use a portion of your profile if you want, like this one. So I'm using the same two profiles, but I, instead of using all of this, I can just select the area that I want to use and click OK. Then I get that. So Loft doesn't allow you to do this, but Boundary Boss does. As for its color, why it's in gray while the other ones are in blue i have no idea but i'll ask that from solidworks r d team when i meet them in february in houston in the 3d world experience 2025 if you're close by consider flying in we can say hi to each other it's a lot of fun you will see a lot of familiar faces too so as i promised let's just show you how these two directions work i'm going to delete everything all right what i'm going to show you in this example was used in a tutorial that i made to create this table which was featured in that's all systems linkedin page recently and the way it works is is I can work with boundary boss as a solid body or a surface in this case same thing direction one it goes from this line to this line and as you can see it's not interfering or connected to the other two edges now for direction two from this edge to this edge right now it has created a surface that is filling out this boundary now I have more control over it if you want to have it tangent to face you can for the first one too let's just do that tangent to face now we have a tangential face on the top and boom it's like that so it's very clean and very easy to control if you would like to know why you should start using weldments click on the video on the right and if you would like to know these five lesser knowns but useful features in SOLIDWORKS click on the video on the left and as always the icon in the middle sends you to my free webinar to watch on my website I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching